Hi, this is Paul Neal from Pen Productions, and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on here on the data operator in Max. So how to use a data channel operator and to be able to set up the ability to have uh, vertex colors um, to control um, the color of objects. And so just as a quick demonstration of what's happening, I have uh, this uh, lantern here. And we can see that it's got uh, different colors on the edges. There's areas that are sort of uh, darker in the crevices. There's uh, dirt on top, uh, wherever it's been settled on top. And uh, here's the shader for it right now. And what we're using is these vertex colors of the model that have been exported out of Max um, in Unreal to be able to uh, color them. If we take a look what the vertex colors look like, I'll just pipe them in one at a time. The red channel is uh, taking all the convex um, areas of the model. So it's picking up all the convex pieces of it and so that we can kind of darken the you know, uh, big crevice areas of it. The green channel is picking up the outside edges of it. So you can see the edges of it uh, being uh, highlighted in white here. And it's uh, selecting those and picking those up nicely. The blue channel is allowing us to have a top-down map. So the map is, uh, it's gonna be filtering out a map um, just based on where it's white. So you can see it's only where it's uh, pointing up in world space right now. I'll just uh, plug the final result back in. The rest of the shader then is just using lerp nodes and using the vertex, the individual R, G, and B lerp nodes uh, uh, into the lerp nodes as a mask. And so I'm masking these two colors together, a um, little bit of dark reds and whatnot with red to get darker areas in the convex sections. I'm then uh, uh, lerping in this uh, sort of lightish blue just to give uh, some edge to it to highlight the edge col uh, colors a little bit and pick those up. And then I'm using the dirt uh, texture that I uh, painted as a top-down map. So it's just uh, plastered on uh, the UVs, but it's only coming in where the top is uh, and being picked up on the top of the map. So uh, to set that up in Max, it was uh, really easy with a data channel mod uh, modifier. So let's do that from scratch. So I'm going to um, add a data channel modifier. And the data channel modifier is designed to work with uh, the vertices of the model and the data within that, uh, the vertices. So it can be working with vertex colors, you know, uh, map channel data, all sorts of things uh, to, to be able to um, uh, help display it to you. One of the other uh, things I've set up quickly is a quick macro script. And this macro script uh, turns on the show vertex colors and uh, vertex color type to zero. And that is the equivalent of... Um, running down, picking object properties, and turn on vertex color, uh, vertex channel display to vertex colors. You'll see why I need to do that, um, because whenever uh, the data channel seems to uh, change, it wants to turn it off. And if you turn it on the display, it displays the um, uh, vertex colors uh, as a map channel and not as the individual vertex colors, which is what we're going to be uh, wanting to look at. So right now, it's just all completely white. I'm going to say add operator and open up all the operators. And the input operators can be used as an input into it. And so we're going to need to uh, use, in this case, curvature. And so I want to drop curvature in here. Curvature, you can see the uh, arrow that uh, comes out and down from the vertices. It's saying that it's uh, uh, picking up the, uh, this data and it's going to be passing it into the stack. You can think of the data channel modifier like a modifier stack in, in the modifier stack. So with that said, we can also have outputs. So I want to say vertex output. Now the vertex output in this case is going to be outputting any kind of vertex data that we want, in this case vertex color. And it's going to be going into the X channel. Um, so the R, G, B, X, Y, Z, so into the uh, R channel. And let's just show that. You can see now it's, it's coming up. It's completely uh, red. So there's a little variation in the color from the, um, from the curvature node picking up the uh, the different areas. So if I start playing with it and start playing with some values, you'll notice that I can adjust and work with the values in it to be able to pick up some of those areas that we're talking about. So as we play with those, we can adjust and try and get a couple of different settings going. And I might go with something closer to that uh, to get those uh, concave uh, portions uh, working. So to um, 
control this a bit more, we can also use another node. And that node is the curve node here, the curve operator, sorry. I'm gonna drop that in. And with the curve operator, you can see every single time I drop something in here, it wants to turn off the vertex colors on me. So I'm gonna turn it back on again and um, play with that some more. So it looks like I shouldn't have had my uh, uh, concave down to one. I'm gonna uh, drop it uh, uh, concave back to, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have had it at zero almost. I'm gonna go back to uh, one. Uh, play with my flat a little bit here and uh, convex isn't going to get us anything at the moment but then we're going to use the curve map to control that a bit more so we can uh, darken areas and work with setting it up and getting exactly what we're looking for so I want to try and brighten up that top edge those inside edges sorry those inside bits and then darken the rest Now we can also just uh, simply add keys in this curve. And so I'm gonna grab them all first and just go to corner really quickly and add a couple and set this to one or zero and this one to one. And you can see so we can clamp them off nicely. So at this point now I can control how much is being picked up and just how hot it's going to get in areas. So that looks pretty good. Let's make sure that stays at a value of one. And I want to make sure that stays at a value of zero. And we could also uh, add our curves back in if we wanted to blend a little more and make sure it isn't so harsh. So I'm just going to let it blend a little bit more. So that's getting our uh, red channel output. I'm just going to turn off the uh, vertex output uh, so it goes back to white again. And we're going to start again. So this time I'm going to start with a uh, curvature map. And you can see it comes in with this bar now. So these uh, inputs can also just be controlling the uh, values that are being dealt with. So I need to make it into an input again. So right click and say replace. So it's instead of multiplying up the values, it's going to replace the values. I'm also going to need another uh, vertex output. And this time it's going to be into the Y channel for the green channel. And this one should probably, I think it's somewhere around this is going to uh, create a nice solution and so you can see it's starting to pick up um, the edges it's dark this time on the insides of them and um, I'm not sure if I I don't think if I pull that down it's going to do anything and again let's drop a curve in there and let's push and pull this some more And with that curve, again, I'm going to immediately just set them all to corner and then clamp it again. And just pull that back. And you can see that I can start just pulling up those uh, corners, maybe a little too much. I don't want to get uh, too much, but I just want the very, very edges of things uh, picked up here and I can brighten them and make sure it's got a nice bright uh, green in there so we can mix that in. So I'm gonna work with that, turn that off again, and now this time we're gonna work with a top down. So this time we don't want curvature, we're gonna to to take a vertex input. And with the vertex input, we're gonna use the average normals. So we're gonna get the average normals of all the vertices. And I'm going to drop in the output again. And the output this time, you can see right now we can't uh, select Z. Uh, we need one more because we've got this RGB here. So it's going to go into all RGB at this uh, point in time. So it's, it's coloring everything. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a vector node. And I'm going to drop that in into the right location. And with the vector node, I'm going to use Z, world Z. And so now I've got all the uh, vectors pointing out from the surface. I've got a vector that's pointing up in uh, world Z. I'm going to right click on vector and choose dot product. Dot product will get you the um, uh, difference between uh, the two. So with that being said now, um, I should be able to get, um, and there it is. I can put it into the Z channel. And you can see I'm starting to pick up some of the uh, blue. And oh, this needs to be a 
replace. Uh, I missed that. There we go. So it needs to be an input. So it's a replace into the vector. And now you can see that I'm getting blue. What's neat about this is, is if I rotate it, you can actually see that the vertices on the top of the model are blue. The ones on the bottom are black, no matter how it is. Um, that's not going to be live in Unreal, but it would be live in Max if you wanted to use this, uh, uh, generating a top-down map and, and uh, retaining that top-down sort of filter on it. Um, now again, I'm just going to drop in another uh, curvature map and let's uh, uh, play with that. Again, turn those back on and let's maybe put in another point here. Let's just set those to corner real quick. And now you're seeing you're starting to pick up just the tops uh, because the dot product is going to return that of the vectors. So I'm getting still a little more in here that I want. Uh, I'm just going to set this back to corner as well. And let's add in another one. And we should be able to clamp that off. There we go. So now we're clamping off the, um, the top edge. There we go. That's pretty nice. And just so we can accumulate some dirt on the top of all these uh, uh, edges here. And another uh, tool that you can use to uh, sort of help so uh, soften things up is the smooth operator. Oh, come on. And I want to stick that afterwards. Again, turn them back on. And you'll see now what it does is it allows us to be able to smooth the results um, a little bit and soften them. It might be easier if I do it this way. So there was the result and then I can soften those up again a little bit more if I want and just make sure they're blurred together. Um, you know, just a little bit nicer than they were. It fixes a few of the things the curve was leaving and whatnot. So that's looking pretty good. That's getting our top-down maps. Um, so we're going to make sure that our vertex colors are turned on in all of them. And um, now we can output that. And so when we say uh, export selected uh, and we uh, push this out, I'm going to go out to my Lantern FBX and put it out with all the information turned on. Back over into Unreal, I'd be able to load it into my assets. And in this case, I can say re-import if I want. And then we can check and see what it looks like. And it probably will have changed a little bit from the uh, last import because my values were a little bit different. But now we've got those um, colors being piped in. So you'll be able to see those the same here. If I check that blue channel that we we're just working on, there's the result of that blue channel. And it's now mixing in some dirt. Um, and the others mixing together other values. So now I've got this nice sort of you know, ability to blend these together. And again, I've used some multipliers to multiply, be able to multiply values up and down. So I can add more dirt or less dirt, and I could create material instances and whatnot. If you're a Unreal user, you'd uh, uh, understand some of those other things. Next, I'd probably want to be able to add in some maybe uh, noise or something else, um, you know, into this and to break it up a little bit more uh, with a maybe a noise map just kind of plastered on out uh, in world space or something would make it look pretty good. But there you go, there's a quick tutorial on uh, how to uh, use data uh, channel operator to create uh, vertex normals for uh, masking uh, shaders together.